Welcome Psych 364 students. This is my week 12 commentary. This is our last week in module 3 and we will have but three weeks to finish the course in module 4. So um, this is also the week in which we read the final chapter of Kilmartin and Smiley uh, having to do with men in sports. Uh, men masculinity in sports, I should say. Um, and also, this is uh, the week that you should be committing to or helping to organize a peer group so that on the weekend of May 6th or 7th, you'll be able to complete the oral assignment in the course. With respect to uh, this final chapter, um, it's an interesting development in my mind that Smiley and Kilmartin uh, chose to add a chapter uh, to their earlier edition of this text and this was the chapter they added. So um, the question I think that we need to consider is, is this a, a shortcoming insofar as it's a reversion to uh, male stereotypes? Um, or is there a significant contribution to looking at a distinct need uh, for uh, sports in the psychological lives of both men and boys? So I'll, I'll leave that uh, for you to consider. There is a, a trigger question on the discussion board that addresses this as well. Uh, looking beyond our readings for this week, uh, certainly your focus would be on the course project and of course call me if I can help you with that. And then finally uh, just a view forward to our final topics in the course. Uh, the first having to do with successful aging of men and boys. And remember please that aging does not start in late adulthood but rather aging is a process that um, in fact, is operative throughout the psychological lives of men and boys. Uh, I'll give more information about uh, issues of the Harvard Grant study and and uh, andropause uh, next week. Finally, uh, in the 14th week of the uh, semester, just before the workshop, uh, we will again return to the issue of the nature of men's studies and the need or the lack thereof of a men's movement in the future. So those are our two final topics uh, for the semester. But let's focus on men, sports, and masculinity this week. And um, hopefully uh, those of you who have not maxed out on the discussion board please know that of the seven students in the course either two or three have uh, maxed out now and the other four or five of you still have opportunity to get an A plus on that assignment. I would also uh, say with some pride I've caught up with all of the grading uh, including the points for the discussion board so if you have any questions about your test grades or your work on the discussion board or for that matter the grade that you're going to earn in the course, this would be a good time for us to talk. Uh, that will also be part of our discussion when we reach the final workshop. At that point, however, on May 6 or 7, it will be a little bit late to do much about it. So uh, now is a good time for us to consult if there's a need to do that. Okay, uh, thanks very much for your attention and uh, have a good week.